2011 Horizon Report is here. The New Media Consortium and Educause are very proud to present this year's research and emerging technologies in learning, teaching, and creative inquiry in higher education. This year, we identified the six emerging technologies the advisory board agreed could have a significant impact on education in the next few years. We expect that mobile devices and electronic books are both close to being mainstream in the next year or less. It's no question that mobiles are already on trend. They allow access to information, social networks, tools for learning, and productivity. The challenge is overcoming the resistance in schools and finding opportunities to use the technology that most everyone carries already. Electronic books are kind of a no-brainer too. Besides portability, ebooks are available at a variety of platforms, plus using textbooks electronically could prove to be far more cost-effective in the long run. Ebooks also provide an interactive layer to textbooks that makes them a lot more engaging. The main stumbling block for ebooks right now is in the available titles and some rights issues, but wide adoption in education will definitely change that. Some other technologies we focused on in the Horizon Report in 2011 are in the two to three year adoption range, and we're still really excited about all of the possibilities to come. Game-based learning and augmented reality have both been considered significant tools in education for many years and have made appearances on a number of campuses already. Augmented reality is creating layers of a virtual world over the normal one. Think like using an interactive map in an art museum to get information on the art as you walk through, or using a phone application like Time Shutter to see a city how it looked a century ago and compare it to how it looks today. The report takes a look at how these technologies can be used in education and also who is already implementing them. We should see game-based learning grow in the next two to three years too. Research continues to show that it's effective for students of all ages. This report details the potential that game-based learning has in the classroom, whether single-player games or MMORPG. Looking four to five years in the future, gesture-based computing and learning analytics are both on our radar. With the popularity of Wii, Xbox Connect, and PlayStation Move, gesture-based computing is becoming a staple in many homes. The Horizon Report focuses on relevant ways to use gesture-based computing in art, education, and music. Learning analytics is also a new trend that could be four to five years from being widely adopted. Basically, it allows instructors to tailor education specifically to each student's needs. Learning analytics helps gauge how well students are learning and gives a more detailed look at how students understand the material. So those are the six technologies to watch in 2011. Electronic books, mobiles, game-based learning, augmented reality, gesture-based computing, and learning analytics. The 2011 Horizon Report is available for download now at nmc.org. You can get your copy at www.nmc.org slash publications slash 2011 dash horizon dash report.